Okay, Republican Senators Mitch McConnell, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski saying the president should li listen to the attorney general, let him do his job, don't get involved. Meantime, the president is sticking by the attorney general after William Barr's TV interview. Look who's here, Wall Street Journal editorial <laughs> board member Bill McGurn. Bill, do you think, uh, what do you think of this? Should you just trust these people to do their jobs? So what was your take on this? Yeah, absolutely. Story? Look, I have a lot of respect for Bill Barr. I think the truth is, President Trump needs Attorney General Barr more than Attorney General Barr <laughs> needs President Trump. And look, we know that um, Bill Barr had reached his decision on this case before the president tweeted, so it's all an unnecessary distraction. I also think what Mr. Barr is trying to do, the biggest thing to be coming down the pike is the Durham findings, you know, what, what he finds on the FISA abuse and so forth. And I, I think he's trying to preserve that to make sure it's not greeted with with kind of Yeah, because state. after the Mueller probe, Democrats right. said you should step down, right. William Barr. And I think he's and, taken that very right. seriously. And, and now we've got nine Senate Democrats again calling. Because they're afraid of that. Because they're, I afraid, think they're, afraid they're of the terrified of Bill yeah. Barr because they know he's effective and they know he's going to get to the bottom of the truth of all these people that for years told us the president was a Russian agent falsely. Excessive sentencing versus a perception the president is picking on judges, right? right? That's right. what the story is, right? Right. right. And right. what do you think? Um, look, I think, again, it was a distraction. The real distraction is being handled in the Justice Department. I'd go further. I Look, I'm not a fan of Roger Stoney. He has a long history of sort of hijinks in the Republican Party. I'm not a fan of his, but I don't think he should have been prosecuted. I think it was more kind of a... Um, uh, the zeal coming out of uh, Mr. Mueller's report. Nine something. years. Yeah, and the sentencing was way too harsh, but I'd go back. I, I, I think in terms of judgment calls, remember when lying to federal agents was the, the worst things? So people do see um, Martha Stewart gets in trouble for lying. But Andrew to, McCabe, they dropped the charges against. Gets a CNN against, contract. So. Well, well, they dropped the charges against right. that prosecution of the right. probe of Andrew McCabe. Your reaction to that? Um, again, I, I defer to um, Attorney General Barr. I, I, I think if he had the goods, he would, he would do it. We still don't know if Andrew McCabe's in the clear because, again, this report from Dur uh, Durham is going to be very big, and it involves the same people who were involved in the Hillary investigation. By the way, three of the, the four statements that Andrew McCabe made to investigators, right. of, of government officials, were under oath. Uh, your um, colleague, Kimberly Strassels, I think she put up a story saying there was concern inside the Justice Department that the Roger Stone sentencing, yeah, they were was, it. sentencing was excessive prior to what the president exactly. did, right? Exactly, and they were fixing it. Yeah. And all the tweets have done is make um, Bill Barr look like he was to, or not look, because I think people know the truth that he was doing it already, but it gives the Democrats an excuse to go after Bill Barr because they're terrified of him. Let's listen to what Mark Meadows said about this. Watch. This is all about politics, from Jerry Nadler to Elizabeth Warren and in between. We had FISA abuse. They're not willing to hold an, uh, a hearing on that. I'm going to stand by him and the president, not because of, of any political uh, theory, but because it is the right thing to do. Okay, so here's what's going on. The Justice Department also getting an outside prosecutor to review the Michael Flynn case. Uh, remember, he's withdrawing his guilty plea. Remember, right. and we've talked about this, August of 2016, the FBI agent, an FBI agent in the Russia probe at the right. FBI, sent somebody, sent somebody in to do surveillance on then-candidate Trump and Michael Flynn without telling them in August right. of 2016. We've got that. We also have Senator Lindsey Graham sending a letter to the Attorney General saying, I want Comey, I want McCabe, I want Justice Department officials in my Senate Judiciary probe of the Trump spying. Yeah, again, we talk about lying. The FBI agents originally who in, uh, interviewed General Flynn didn't think he was lying, right? And he got, and they were talking about the Logan Act and all sorts of things. I think he has a pretty good case. He's asked for, um, to withdraw his guilty plea, and, uh, and I don't think the, um, I don't think he'd be prosecuted after that happens. So your, your take is that the president should just not get involved, back off, let the attorney general do his job. I think job. that's a general take in, in all of life for a boss. Find someone you trust, let them do it, and if you don't trust them, get rid of them, right? And the president has other powers. If he thinks that the sentence is excessive, he could pardon them. That's why the, part, the pardon power, actually the pardon power is there for that reason, to curb excesses. It's not just to forgive people who maybe were innocent. It's also for people to say this was, yes, he did it, but it was disproportionate. All right. Like the woman um, 
that Trump pardoned uh, on the drug charge. Mm -hmm. You know, I think she was guilty of what she did, but it was one offense and this long thing. And I think that it gives the president discretion this for is a, a reason. Much more layered, nuanced story than you're hearing in the media. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Bill McGurn, thank you so much for coming in. We like to just look at the facts unemotionally, and Bill, you're great at that. Okay.